I wrote the first part of it at 17. I wrote the wow. chorus, the I'll keep holding on when I was 24. Hello everyone, welcome to Film Locations Revisited. Now it's still Motor and Beep Beep, we're still doing the same celebrity graves, but it's just a little something different, you know, that we'll slot in now and again. And this one is holding back the years, simply read, Phil Ucknell, yeah. And that's where he started off over there, look, where the Dracula experience is, because he was in that little um, upstairs bedroom, which is now part of the Dracula exhibition. But we're gonna go around with Bay. We're going to find all the little locations where he wandered and we're going to look at what it's like now, nearly 40 years later. And uh, I like it, it's interesting because you can see the little changes and still see the things that are still there. So I'll zoom around them all. I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to see you over there in a minute to get a bit closer to Dracula. <laughs> so right in the middle there is where Phil Ucknell was singing in the room at the beginning of the video. And it's there, look. And we're going to go over there and have a look at it closer. But that's the building. And if I zoom back out, you can see it's right in the middle of um, Whitby itself on the west side. And there we go. Okay, well, it's quite a busy little spot, is this one. But this is the, the bit where Mick Ucknell on Simply Red was looking through the window. But it's part of the Dracula experience now. I'm going to spin it around so you can see. It's, it's changed a lot. There we are. Let's have a look. So that's where Mick was looking out, but all he cop now is Dracula written backwards. It's changed quite a lot. I just popped in because uh, they're very nice people. If it had been an actual room, he would have let me look up there. But uh, I'll go back to it again. You can see it's just really part of the blacked out exhibition now. So we're exactly in the right spot here. I'll tell you what gives it away. I know it sounds silly, but the little junction box there in the bracket, you can see that on the original video 40 years ago nearly. And the little boy's on his bike here, falls over, and they pick him up. And then at the end, you can just maybe just see that's the 199 steps going up to St Mary's Church in Whitby Abbey. So this is the 100% uh, the, the correct spot, yeah? Fantastic. This wasn't in a video, but I'm going to show you it because it's cute. It's the old uh, Fortune's Whitby Cured Kippers. Here we go. Spin you out. That's Fortune's uh, Whitby Cured Kippers where they smoke them. And this is where you can smell the burning wood. The smoke's coming out. Ooh, yeah. And uh, that's St Mary's up there. A lot of the land came down and caused a problem, so they had to put the, the barrier up. In actual fact, a cottage further on was demolished when it slid down a few years back. And round here, here we've got James Martin. And we've got, oh, no photograph there, but no chap doing the kippers. Two fat ladies. Yes, there they are, look. Ooh. And the an old-fashioned shop. I bet Mick had a look through this window. But that's where the video was done up there. We're heading up there next. That's it, that's it. Now what it is, the cottages were falling over. So this was in the video. That's where Mick came out of there, number 30. But it's a new building, about 20 years old. So it's all changed all that lot. But that's the original cottage, which is called Tipple Cottage, because it's, it's falling over. So that is the spot where the old door was there, look. 
and that's where meat comes out of. And if you look to the right, you've got the kipper, smoking kipper place there. And if we came a bit long round there, you can see St Mary's Church there. But what it was, further in the video, is walking along there. And I would think approximately where that archway is would be the end of the old cottages. And you'd see St Mary's from a steeper angle. So that's where it all took place. Simply Red frontman Mick Hucknell wrote this song while his former Frantic Elevators bandmate, Neil Moss, also had a songwriting credit. Mick first started writing it when he was only 17, while living at his father's house, but it took several more years before he added the famous chorus. However, according to Mick, Moss did not co-write the song, but his credit was added to remember the great times we had. The song is thought to be inspired by Mick's family and upbringing. His mother left the family when he was just three. It was this upheaval that inspired him to write the song. The lyrics, strangled by the wishes of Peter, which is father, hoping for the arms of Mater, which is mother, particularly reflect this. Mick Hucknall said the song was inspired by a member of the teaching staff at the Manchester School of Art where Mick was a student. The lecturer suggested that the great paintings were produced when the artist is working in the stream of consciousness. Mick then tried to apply this method to songwriting. Using this method, he wrote this song when he was just 17. It wasn't a hit at first. It was Simply Red's third single, taken from their debut album, Picture Book. However, it stalled at number 51 in 1985. The following year it was re-released and it peaked at number 2 in the UK. It was also a number 1 hit in America. Filmed around Whitby in 1985, the video looks back on Mick's difficult childhood before he decided to leave home for good. Okay, so that's the scene where they're all sat on the seat there playing their instruments and he's walking up the steps a bit like a... Very good. Perfect spot. And that's the bit where he's walking along and the guy's playing the guitar sat on that seat. Because it's changed, it's a metal seat now. Well, it was a more old-fashioned wooden looking one, but... Mm, very much similar, nothing much has changed. I think, I, to me, it looks like that's where they were laid there, because you can see the curved stones in the background and the abbey. So they were laid there, I mean the canoodles there, look. I think it looks about right. So we're here, near one of the final scenes of holding back the year. When Mick comes onto the uh, railway station back there, he comes walking in, and there's a steam train going choo -choo 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 down here. Well, we've got one here now, uh, standing still. But yeah, I hope you can hear me. So we'll have a quick look at Gopher Station as well because he used it a lot in heartbeat. But this is where he was near the end of the uh, holding back the years. So that's the first film locations revisited. Just a little something for our channel. Um, I'll still do the celebrity graves, don't worry. But uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell, it's free, so you don't miss future films. Thumbs up and a comment, you know I love the comment. Wow, look at that moon, can you see that moon there, look? Beautiful, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, and have a lovely day wherever you are. Whatever you're doing, enjoy it, because life is to be enjoyed. Take care, I'll see you all soon from me, Alan. Bye-bye.